In this video I'm going to show you how to use the Dark Fantasy 2 Photoshop action. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use this photo here as an example from this demonstration of the action. So I'm going to create from this photo this effect. Okay, so as you can see what the action does, it creates this uh, fantasy look from your photo. So you get a light source and uh, you, you get uh, to create your own uh, light source. So you can put it anywhere you like and um, uh, you're actually you got a full control of of its look, and you're going to see that later. Uh, you see that there, there are some particles, and um, there are really a lot of options for customizing the design. And uh, you also got 15 uh, preset color options to choose from. Okay, so let me just show you a few more examples that I have made using this action. So from this photo, I have created this. Okay, that's it. So re let's just uh, get back to our photos. So I'm going to close this window. So the, there are a couple of things that sh you should check before you use the action to make sure the action uh, runs without any errors. Okay, so the first thing that you should check is that your photo is a background layer. So it should be called a background and have this little lock icon. So if you got something like this or anything else, just go to layer, new and choose background from layer. And also, just click on the little arrow here, go to the panel options, and make sure you got the add copy to copy layers and groups option checked. Then go to the image mode, and make sure your photo is in RGB color mode 8-bit kennel. And also check the image size. Okay, so it should be at least uh, 1500 is wide or high, and the resolution should be maybe between 72 to 300. Okay, so. For best results, don't use uh, small resolution images. Okay. Um, for best results, is uh, the range between uh, 2300 to let's say 3500 uh, pixels uh, is the best. Okay. So I'm just going to click OK. And uh, to to load the brushes, just go to Window, Brush Presets, and click on the little arrow here, Load Brushes, and uh, just choose the brushes that can be downloaded, okay? And to load the action, just go to Window Actions and uh, click on the letter here, Load Actions, and just choose the action that can be downloaded, okay? So the action will appear in the Actions panel. And uh, now just go to Layer, New, Layer, and uh, name it Brush. And uh, all letters must be lowercase, okay? Otherwise the action won't work, so just make sure you type that well. And all you have to do now is to just uh, pick a brush tool, choose any color, color doesn't matter, and just brush over your subject. Okay, just like that. And before that, uh, what I want to do is to just expand the, the canvas, okay? I want to increase the canvas size, so I got a little bit more space on the sides. So I'm just going to go to Image, Canvas Size, and I'm going to check the Reality option. I'm just going to add about uh, 900 pixels, okay? Just like that. And I'll pick a brush tool again and just brush your subject. Okay, just like this. I have already done brushing before, so I'm just going to uh, open my PSD file. Here it is. Okay, uh, I got this example here. Uh, I, I need to show you something about when you are setting the light source not on the size. For, uh, uh, but uh, on the center, for example, or anywhere inside the, the canvas, okay? So that's why I got this example here. So after you finish with brushing, just expand the canvas size here. Like that. All you have to do now is to just uh, play the action. And uh, the action will stop a few times to ask you to do some steps. So I'm going to fasten the video here and get back each time the action stops with the message, okay? So let's just click play. Okay, so here we got the first message and it says not just brush where you want to create the light source, proper brush will be already selected. After you finish, just play the action again to stop to proceed. So just to stop and it says you already will have the proper brush selected and also it's very important to don't change this foreground color so it should stay white. So what I'm going to do just I'm going to increase my brush size. 
So all you have to do now is to simply brush where you want to create light source. Okay, so you can, for example, just brush over here like that, or you can use larger brush to create a, a different uh, light source. Okay. So we're going to use something like that. So and uh, just do it like this. Okay. So after you create uh, the light source you like, so you can, as you have seen in this example, you can create it even inside, okay, for example, like that, okay, you can uh, brush a few times uh, as well, so you can brush, for example, here and then here, okay. So after you finish with uh, creating the light source, as in the message says, just, you just have to play the action again, so I'm fastening the video here again and get back when the next message pops up, okay. Okay, so here we got the next message, and it says in next pop-up window, just set the blur centers so the blur goes from light source direction. Okay, choose continue to proceed. So just gonna choose continue, and what you have actually to do here is to leave these options as uh, the action that has set them, and all you have to do is to click here and uh, uh, just make it goes from the light source direction. Okay, so if you if I had the light source from here, you would just put it like that. Okay. And I have here on the top, so I'm just gonna drag this to the top and center it about in the middle. Okay, as it's in the middle set. And when you click OK, the action will continue to work. Okay, so there is a one more message that will uh, pops up. So I'm going to fasten the video here again and get back when the last message shows. Okay, okay, so here we got the last message, and it says in next pop up window, just set the angle so the gradient goes toward the direction of light source and choose continue to proceed. So just click continue. And all these settings, you should leave it like that, you'll be able to change them later. So now what you gotta uh, do is to just change this angle here. Okay, so as my uh, light goes from here, uh, this angle should be from here toward the light. So just gonna set 90 degrees here. And uh, as you can see, the uh, this step, we actually what we do is going to darken uh, the parts of your subject, depending on your light source, okay? and uh, you should always uh, choose just ch uh, just change the angle, except when you set the light source somewhere inside the canvas, not from the side. And that's why I got uh, this example here. So I'm going to show you that later. So now I have just set this as I need uh, in this example. Okay. When you click continue, the uh, when you click OK, the action will continue to work. So I'm fasting the video again here, and I'm going to get back when the action is finished. So I'm going to show you how can you customize the results that you got. Okay. Okay, so the action has just finished, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just close the actions panel. And uh, the first thing that you probably want to do is to close down all these uh, folders. And how to quickly do that is to, while this group is selected, it will be automatically selected by the action. Just hold Control and Down buttons for PC or com Command Option for a Mac. And just click on the letter here, okay? And then open the folder, and all folders will be closed. Okay, so. Uh, Let's see what we got here. So this is the uh, brush layer that we have made on the beginning of the video. And for example, if you wish to use uh, the same photo with the same brush area, okay, but but you would like to change the light direction, all you have to do is to just delete this group, and you can play the action again using uh, different settings, okay. So that's why you got this brush layer there. So this is the uh, the main effect, okay. So just open the folder, and just scale this okay so what we got here is the background color okay so you can just double click there and uh, change the color if you like okay uh, this is the noise texture okay so like if I zoom in you can see uh, it will create the noise to your photo okay you see this is very sensitive so you should use usually small values uh, here something like that okay that. So what we got here is the mist texture, and uh, I'm just going to set something like that, okay. And this is the light source that you have made, and uh, you can change its opacity if you like, and also what I do sometimes, just let this layer mask, pick a brush tool, and set foreground color to black, and just remove the lighting in some places, for example, like here. Okay, so I'm just gonna brush a little bit like this. You can uh, hold the Alt for PC or uh, Option for Mac, just click there to see exactly what you have brushed. 
So on the place where you brush uh, with the black color in the layer mask, the light source will be removed. So if you just hide and uh, turn on the layer mask, you will see the difference. Okay, so here just hide in this area down. And this is the your subject group. So uh, what you can do is just select this layer mask and uh, remove some parts of your subject. Okay, if you like. So you can just you brush a little bit like that. So I'm just going to brush like this. Okay, try the layer mask. And let's see the difference. Okay, so it's got a, a better blending. And when you open the folder, what you got here is the boost highlights. So this layer will just boost uh, the highlights on your subject. Okay, and how it works, you just click on the word opacity and drag it aside to change the amount. Okay, so I'm just gonna set it like that. And uh, what we got here is the uh, boost shadow layers and also just play with this uh, opacity here. So just gonna set some lower value like this. And uh, this is the subject sharpening. So how you control the sharpening is you also change the opacity. Okay. Just like that. And uh, this is the subject contrast. Okay. So you just click uh, toward the opacity and drag. I'm going to set it like this. Uh, this is the main photo, okay. And when you click on the gradient overlay, what you can do here, it can change this opacity, okay. I'm going to leave it by default. And this is the add subject glow, okay. So as you can see, where that creates the glow of your subject and. Uh, we can also change its opacity here or click on this layer mask and sometimes just brush on some places where you would like to remove it. Okay, it's already got the layer mask so it appears uh, only on the areas where you already got the light so it's uh, the glow is the most visible here where the light is uh, uh, got the biggest density and then the opacity of the glow is lowering Okay, as the density of the light is lowering. So, let's see what we got here. This is the reveal original photo, and it says brush white to the mask. So, what you guys do is select the layer mask, pick a brush tool, set program color to white, and you can just brush with the white uh, for the case your subject is not visible somewhere as you would like. And what you're going to do is I'm just going to brush into the subject mask uh, a little bit here with a black color as a foreground. Just just like that, just to create a little bit uh, better blending. You can always brush with the white. Okay, just change the foreground color to white, and the place you would like to remove the uh, uh, to get back the removed parts. Okay, so I'm just gonna brush like this a little bit here. Okay, and these are the particles. Okay, as you can see, and you can change their opacity. Just gonna set it to 100. You can even duplicate them. Just go right click duplicate layer to increase their uh, visibility. And what we got here are the color options. So you got a 15 color options to choose from. The color option one is turned down by default. So all you got to do is to select and uh, some of the color options, turn it on, see how it looks. And if you don't like it, try with another until you find one that goes the best with your photo. And what, what I often do is I, I just combine a few color options. For example, I use this one, or its opacity a little bit, then add another one, then just play with the opacity, okay? And you can create uh, more different color options. So I'm just going to use this one. And I'm just gonna lower opacity a little bit, like this. And I'm going to use this one here, okay? Just like that. So, and what we got here is the adjust fade layer, fade. So when you double click there, what you have to do is to play with this uh, pointer here. Okay, to adjust the fade as you like. So I'm just gonna set it like this. Okay. So, 
And that's it, I'm pretty much happy with the effect, so let's just quickly see the before and after, so from this, we got this, okay? And uh, to just show you this example here, so what I wanted to show you here is this, and uh, when you, get, when you, you uh, set the light source goes somewhere, is somewhere inside the canvas, not from a side, then just change here a style, choose a radial, and just set the angle to uh, 90 degrees. So now, as you can see, it will uh, start uh, darkening the subject uh, on the areas outside the, of the light. Okay, uh, the darkening will go from the, uh, from the light, and then uh, darkening will be more density density as it go far from the light. Okay, you can see the difference. Okay. So I hope you understood everything, but if you still need any help or, or you got any questions, feel free to contact me anytime via my Envato profile page. Thanks for watching. Bye.